shot and one play kill away. Have a chance to jump out at the right time, but also doesn't want to get caught by any player coming in from short. Sneak looking to come back through, managing to just hold this angle so important. And Musashi kind of needs to clear this before anything can be done. Luckily, luck has already gone down from the teammates in behind. Still, a lot of the clock has already been burnt out. But that rotation looks to come through. A lot of players actually get suppressed. Now, obviously, in pistol rounds, not too much of a big deal. It's going to come down to those trades, those Don't. pistol fights. And for now, Venza doing a decent job, but Zeke turning it into just one man standing. The time is completely gone for Linksy. It will be a pistol going the way of Alliance. No, there's so much something One enemy do. remaining. He gets those players in, like Rebels forced Fight again planted. to play a retake. Now in a full five versus five, and with bigger guns. Considering the lights are still holding onto Spectres, there's some pretty meaty angles to get out of it. Actually, what's happening in the pistol? It's a slow retake coming through, and these more aggressive pushes, these sort of timing peaks that off guard is making things just so problematic. In fact, they're completely running out of time, and Alliance is starting to shut this one out. Locker is just hitting everything that's put in front of. I think that for D2, I, it might actually be a blessing in disguise that they now have to go through some weaker teams to get into it to kind of build themselves into it a little bit more. Yeah, from the looks of it as well, they're going for those left. qualifiers with Kellogg's instead of Mix going off of the sign in sheet, so could be a bit knee jerky. In any case, this is a more into podcast because Rebels don't have much when it comes to guns, but one good that they did have with the Sheriff has actually connected nicely. Looking not afraid to give his presence up, and Vikashu, this is a corner that they clearly want to get, but they kind of Ten seconds don't really left. look a bit to the side of what they were shooting from. So Gatch now, you know, one versus two. Remaining. One versus Fight one planted. now, Side is going to try and come in close on the generator, and Gatch actually predicts it. This is a jet player, or was Dangles. He knows that there's somebody nearby, and Hunter's Fury dedicated with that tag. Doesn't really... And it's just going to be the battle of the Ash. Just all the timing for Lynx, he couldn't be worse. Goes into Astral form. But again, a B hit. Johnny's trying to find a better position, and that's a nice flash, but nobody's ready from Rebel to actually follow through on this. Perfect. Last 20 seconds or so. Execution making things Spike fairly planted. awkward, it seems, for the side of Rebels. And then just both openers going the way of Alliance. The remaining two with little to no hope. They're, they've lost control of the market. Hype already holding as well if they try to reach uh, one enemy Sounded remaining. like a shot and a half for Musashi. A single bullet to execute Viroth, but he still needs to do a hell of a lot more. And so the steps of hype backing off of me. No, at all. Masashi turns at the worst possible time, and Side is there to punish. Did he expect the cash was there as well? They don't. But this Killjoy lockdown is going to force him out of position. He has to accept his fate. At least he's got the rest of his teammate. No, he's, he escapes. He gets out. And now the Nero Theft is going to show exactly where these attacking players are on the post plant, but still they don't expect hype there. The slip up and a half coming out from Rebels, and they're going to clear the angle. Yes, and have you found a second kill in return? Putting this into a 3 versus 2 scenario, again, though, the time is ticking. This is Rebels are very, very slow on these retakes, and all it means is a couple of shots connecting will be enough to close out this round, just waiting for that time to tick away, and they know it. They have to get the spike at this point. If they kill the diffuser, it's already done, and it won't matter as Alliance get all the remains. Look, his positioning has been on point. Yeah, I, I, I think the... One of the more one yeah. enemy remaining. Again, it is so risky. You can understand in these sort of rounds where the blade storm is truly unbelievable. They'll have it. Standing ahead. Spike oh. oh. planted. <laughs> it's just that was like a hundred. Wanna give a way for rebels, especially now the life is so good on these executions. We actually find the kill that he needs. Still gonna be suppressed, so has to dip and dive to try and take these fights. And Alliance is still dedicated to actually reviving the KO whenever they can. Sometimes when the ultimate gets destroyed, it's usually the... But also just that they are using him as bait. It's just like, okay, go in with the rest of the One enemy remaining. really seem to be an issue. And the, the second that they've gone through... Like, it, are they just cheating? Like, the, the amount of wallbang <laughs> damage that, that, we're, that we're seeing from Alliance is ridiculous. Like, for anybody who thinks that that... Ooh. Similar to the first one, a bit more narrow, they can break this camera, and the Hunter's Theory is used in the response, as well as the North Command. Lots of stuff the Rebels are throwing out here. By their opposition to play around, and while he's walking, I would just be going to try and as many weapons as I can. Again, it's going to be a 6 player on the and for Rebels, they know they need to try and garner at least a little bit of extra map control. 
just to be in a position to get out of here. Uh, luck is just holding them in. And there's another player. Uh, this is a freebie down. kill. This has gone as almost as badly as it could have done. I guess they got a kill at least, but the fact they get caught in that lockdown is a little bit tragic. Uh. Gatch kind of has to go a bit more aggro and hope that they line up. Gets one and just a little bit of damage to you, but nothing to be. This shock that could even take him out as well if he's not careful. One enemy remaining. And <laughs> flashing in, and Janny's not afraid to chase it and see if there's anybody there. But doesn't see much. Doesn't expect Luka to actually retreat to a position like that. When you get these headshots, Luka's looking like a completely different beast this year. Okay, well, the cash has been able to take him out. The problem is, fear off spot means that there is no Spike good plant in here. Now, the lineup shouldn't go anywhere near. They haven't actually been able to plant in a default spot, and the cashew starting to come alive a little bit. They know exactly where one of the players is. Clear this player underneath it. Oh, cashew to get back in, but never mind. Linksy's gonna end up getting both. Can capitalize off of that if they can. They've closed in so much space. Zing. He's none the wiser. The headshots connect, but Bush wants to try and isolate. Okay, Feroth is at least going to be able to get one, but... One enemy you deserve huge for Alliance to be Just able to do flag. that. Really, how much of this Rebels team can surprise? On the other hand, could have a lot. I Crap. feel like he's going to get trapped. It's going to be a little bit irritating. Oh, that's so ratty, as if he can, so that he can give him the timing. That's oh. disgusting, he's going to kill him off! Oh, that's oh, gets, How can he approach this? He doesn't know how many players, if any, this alliance team are on the site, especially now expected Zick to just flick in behind from Speedway. What a magnificent round of okay. stall coming in, the Killjoy nowhere near the site, so can still activate that utility, very much prepared for this kind of play to come in. Blinksy finds that opening, looking now on his defense in this corner, uh, holding on, had to give up that position, and they do get Masashi just as the ultimate end, he goes down, there's no revive available. Okay, again, it should give them a good opportunity to at least do some damage and the Null Command is going to be they don't really have much alliance as well already spotting them trying to wrap around through the spawn and that's a freebie kill for Lux. They need to kill him off and well, Bukashi will do just that. It's more of the same no alliance have spotted a trend and they're exploiting as much as possible. They know that the majority of these rebels pushes comes through short. It means that they're able to hold on to A main. Two players here now. And Hype, he's going to get flashed, managing to sneak on by this Cosmic Divide, used from the defense to try and break things up a little more. Right now, Gatch needs to do it all, and Alliance, they really do put... ...in that show, is it? It, it wouldn't be, because they are blue people who... Well, they're miners. Need a drop. Thanks. Are they miners? Yeah. What do they mine? There needs to be a coach called Gilgamesh. <laughs> Oh man, Alliance, oh they could finish out this map so That's far, their map pick, and it's right now not really easy for them to get an advantage, but it's just one by one, trade by trade coming in, in the two versus two now. Bakashu just spawned to Tider, can't really player get player the for support, and Gatsu tries to help, gets caught out. Third oh, it's very scary when it comes to what to do with Damn, Sida is just taking this one into his own hands. A little bit risky, especially in a round where him over in Wave was the fact that his individual skill was incredibly high. Now, this has become quite an awkward scenario because Musashi, and it was Mukashi, managed to pass the majority of the players for Alliance, but don't realize that there's still some within the site that they've got to clear. <laughs> Now that the battle goes in for a bit of an earlier peak before he's fully healed up. Now Gash, his position given up, he might have to accept the fate with the recon that gave away his position, but manages to sneak away just in time. Guardian, this might be an awkward fight, and if Side is sticking to the defuse, well, it's got halfway now. Shogdak gonna go into the wide attack at Side and now sticking it this time. Looker's there to protect it. Which is a little bit abnormal. It's, yeah, let's see what side is able to do now. Look how well it's been consistent at least with the performance. Vakashi is there to win off that Reina duel. Vakashi, this is one of the better maps he played getting a 30 bomb alongside Safe and Leo in the series against Guild. 
playing so well off of his teammates, especially those duelists that lead in the line. That secondary entry is so impactful. Masaki's gonna have another go at this. Only losing one fight where Sider stood, and it allowed, I think it was Vikings, to just use the same line across yeah. the top. They did be able to find the tag. It gets Sider. Gatch gonna know that this is the tag. Yeah. An attempted switch up, just consistently trying to press. Oh, the timing actually works out quite nicely. They push together and he tries to pick up the elevated play, and now they have a Viper's Pit of their own. Although they leave it incredibly late, it's looking like they're gonna get a plant here. Although they're just running. Fight planted. It's awkward, but no. The spray doesn't actually find anything. I thought they might line up for a second. They, they would have done if they were on default, I think. You can see the spikes in a little bit of a shallower spot. And Zek trying to avoid this recon doubt as much as possible. Luckily making his presence known. Checks the angle and dashes away from Lynx. Nice idea from Bakashi, but that's so dangerous because that's the ult that's gone down. Oh, that's what, three ultimates now on a full buy. Gotta try something. And that's a nice start. The recon doubt getting on to Jani. Traded out from Lynxy. Manages to survive on 7 HP. The that Aldron comes in late. The Hunter Fury dedicated and rightly so to taking out Linksy in the server. Now the numbers in favor in Rebels. I don't know. Like, it was basically to try and take out a 7 HP player. It, like, to get one kill there, it wasn't. It didn't really turn around on his head, and he actually gets caught because of it. Luckily, Hype is going to be able to find one back in response, but. Well, Lucker nowhere really near the action. I don't know if he's going to be expecting Musashi to just be in such an off angle. There's been an awful an attempt of a save at this point. You could just tell that he's in one mindset at this point. Had the right idea of checking a close corner, but seen so far. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Oh. Nice little peek up. It's the kind of place that you can expect from Johnny when it comes to the aggression, but it does allow Hype to get that ultimate online. Now him having a bundle. Spike's actually all the way down in the other direction. So either they're about left. to go for a very quick rotate, which will have a couple of players ready and waiting to try Watching and take here. this battle. No dash on the bucket, so he's just gonna have to try and fight this. Spike down, Spike drop. One player going in their favor, but the trade's going back thick and fast. Is the timing gonna be enough though? Now the wall no, can actually it. just slow them down and yeah, to run back into Ten that A side. Left. I don't think it's gonna be happening, and even if it is. All Feroth has to do is just stop them for a millisecond and it won't even matter. He is waiting to make sure one enemy no remaining. chance of them actually winning this one. Last player standing. And one player's gonna be pushed up. A bit more aggro in mid, just in case. Oh, really good aggression has just been completely shut down. An easy couple of openers once again. It's back to business for Rebels as they look to take an easy the response is needed and it just isn't coming. Far away from Viper to know that it's coming in, but they've worked onto the right side. His Rebels could expect these players here. Well, Alliance is out in the open. That's an easy kill and they know exactly where this stage was. They to realize that they're going to be crunched a little more. Well, actually, it's just Luka that goes in on his own catch. He's completely expecting it. And Masashi is again pushing on the other side. Sider pushing out onto Yellow. These Sheriff kills have been insane for Alliance, but is it enough? The Spike hasn't actually gone down to be planted and yeah, rebels could reset remaining. there is space for them to move but they are running into it linksy has a resurrect but all the players that are dead are in front of him <laughs> looking like a flash in the pan actually can it, can it get he's got tagged again yeah he's been hit by the same drone 30 Definitely seconds not ideal. left wasting more time i think it's much more of a chance of having to kill everyone and it's not going to happen zeke will at least Put another onto the board. If anything, this is the round that's made for Alliance. Maybe get a few sheriffs in on the other side. Good trade, though. Hit them now. Or at least try to. Just a shame they doesn't really connect on any damage. Now Sider, again, wants to keep these Rebel players focused into multiple different areas. Trying to get the kill off the back of the Silver Recon. And Zik, whilst healing up, going in for a bit of a wider peek. Nobody's looking yet again standing. from this defensive One side of Rebels, remaining. but they're still able to win out these duels. Now, fear off with a recon dart is going to connect onto Gatch. They know that he's nice pushed done. up, and all he needed to do was waste time. Gatch accepts his fate, knows that fear off is going to go down in the same way. The shutdown. Really, they're happy to take these duels, and on the cusp of that, so again, because the toxic screen was there, Sider was. A little bit more vulnerable than he maybe wanted, or at least took a bit of decay damage. Force higher advantage too. 
Well, okay. that's gone. Holding down the flank is, is definitely going to make things a little bit tough. Good to get back into sights with enough time on the clock to get anything done. See the Round player standing. Looking fairly strong, but Lixie hitting a couple of crazy One shots. Now, remaining. the peak out the blocker, that is just unbelievable. Uh, though. Or maybe a stack of Thick and fast. Well aware of the potential, but this is slaughter from Last the side of Alliance. Standing. Three kills coming in Fight almost planted. immediately, and while Lixie is left, well, probably wondering how his team have just been melted away in a matter of seconds. And even these ultimates, I mean, Alliance not really needed with that right now. Nine three half still might not be enough. I don't even think watching this angle, Masashi's oh. aware of it. Actually has the better angle with a better okay. sightline. I like it. He's gonna clear a, a ratty spot, remove the flanker, so now somebody else has to go back in that direction to try and make sure that they're not gonna get away with too much space as they look at the It's gonna come down to timing and uh, they, they are taking quite a bit of damage along the way. The, the resurgence at least, but this is looking like a much closer round considering the investment right now for the side of rebels. They still have Frank clear out of the back line. Lixie again is going to step up when they need him, but they need to get someone on the plant. Again, time to take a little bit of a It's left uh, onto one, and Lixie uh, is going to come up huge time? with the pistol. I don't know if there's enough time on this one. It's going to be one incredibly close. No. It's not quite enough. Pit the wall to give them the plant. Gone. I think Alliance with these ultimates has been some of the defining factors in these rounds. And now Rebel's still oh, pushing through. The concern I have though is just time again. Yeah, they're, they're already on the shoot. He's just sticking around long enough. This has to be the final kill and it's already done. It's going to be another good spike to win the round. Sure, they'll get the final kill. And sure, they get that spike planted uncontested as we've been seeing. Rebels, I feel like they can make it close, but it's another tough free take to go for. Again, we'll see what they can do with the pistols, but it's definitely going to be tough. Yeah, we're going to see the opening going their way. It's such, such a rat, such an absolute little rat. Still going for it as well. He's going to get his head blown off. Again, we're actually going to see the Viper's pit throw. No way! Being invested right now on the other yeah. side of things. Hunter's Fury is just going to end the life of Bukashu and, well, dare I say at the time, ticking down one of the four. anything from this nice oh. shot from Lixie. Just seems to be unbelievable with this pistol, and he's going to run. He's this time there is enough time for the defusal, but no! Oh, Viral is still going to kill him off that another round, but they win with... Okay. I think it was a good setup from Alliance, but not one that should have been needed. I mean, it's nice to see that brilliance come out. And it has been brilliance that has brought Alliance even on score. The Cashew wanted to sort of make up for some of the mishappenings on the round. It's not really his fault. It was just a really nice play from Alliance if it worked out that way. Look around this angle. Gianni flanking in behind. The Resurrect brings it back to a free versus free. He has a Blade Storm if he wants to have a better weapon in some of these close run fuels, but the upgrade might just do. Oh, not until Hype gets a kill. Player scenario standing. luck is going to win that initial battle and now it becomes very difficult for Linksy. he's been good in the last one round of this bringing things close into the 1v1 we go Time and well he's gonna have to get out this defuse fairly soon oh, the jump up. don't do it I again playing with the time he's trying to use it to his advantage so low on hp at this stage and oh, no. i think he's won it I, I don't think there's enough time on the clock it's gonna go off again surely oh for god's sake four Okay. And Rebels, this is their full buy they'd have to eat co next round or at least buy up whatever they can because Alliance would be on back to the point. Kakashi has been so good at finding these first bloods in these fights, but it's not really his cheeky sport. Feroth is there to try and support and his shock darts are in the right position. They know that they've got Rebels backed up into a corner. Still, this is definitely the best opportunity we've seen so far. Oh, one is oh no! And then back into a 2v2 we go. Mushashi trying to gain some ground, but the jump up. He goes in alone. This is what I was talking about. Like, just giving him the ball over. And it's left on to Janny. A chance to finally put a round in the second half on the board. But he's facing off against the big brain of fear. Although he spotted him, but can't the operator. But it finally. Already got the blade storm as one. Viper's pit. going to go down. There is a potential for a counter by this pit. 
to make it a very awkward position for both teams. Sider also still has his Empress if he wants to try and throw it in. Almost gets caught out as he tries to fade away. And it looks like we do have the Masashi. two Vipers pit. Hero just about manages to save his teammate as well. Bringing this into a 4v4 scenario. And now both teams are sort of pressured within those Vipers pits to try and fight against each other. The first Viper to go down almost inevitably will lose the round for his team. So just trying to hide as much as possible. Sider fighting with him will take down Lexi. Gonna get the kind of off the back and trying to dunk. Around and just landing every headshot that comes in front of him. A big round. He's not going to be around up close enough to deny the spike plant, but he's still considering going on that cleaner peak. Doesn't realize maybe that there's a player beneath him. It's actually how the stinger finds that jewel beside her with a rifle. Do that. Yanni, however, catching in on Sazik. Time is still a thing that they need to be considerable for, and whilst Looker takes a lot of damage, there's so much support and a flank coming in from a line to that. Lock inside. Lock inside. One enemy hit. remaining. Already gonna fall no back. It's land just onto one. The Hunter's Fury again, just looking to try and delay the time, but not quite connecting. He does manage to take out one, but the push has come through. I think this time they'll have plenty. <laughs> It, it was again just that rebels were able to keep pressing, keep pushing. It was nice work from them just to be a bit more patient with what we've seen in the past. Dash doesn't have that ability to get away and does get tagged up just a little bit. Watching Still, here. Though, having this Watching here. Bar, having the time kicking, as we said, we've seen one successful GP. Although some of the players need to push. Oh, it's luck is still alive. Finally, he gets put into the dirt. The flank just spotting out nothing, knowing that they're all coming from the same angle. And again, the clock is getting ever so low. The wall will at least give them an opportunity to try and get onto that defusal. The swing doesn't actually find too much, but it's hard. coming in from behind. He's just going to drop the remaining players. He might not have a chance to get anywhere near this defusal. It is going to be Alliance. Continue.